टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट स A number of important developments have taken place after the close of the budget session of this parliament. Seven weeks have passed since the government took the difficult and even painful decisions to devalue the rupee. I am keenly aware that there are some misgivings in the minds of some honourable members about this decision. and about the economic policies of the government in general that is why i am now taking this opportunity to share my thoughts with you sir and to benefit by the counsel and criticism of honorable members on both sides of the house i shall listen carefully to what honorable members have to say and i hope I shall have an opportunity towards the end of the discussion to respond to the suggestions made and sentiments expressed in this august house. A supplement to the economic survey has been prepared and is being circulated to honorable members. Recent trends in the economy have been outlined in the supplement and I do not intend to take much time of the house in going over the same ground but I would like to recapitulate at the outside some of the salient developments in the Indian economy in recent years so when I presented the budget early this year I had occasion to say that in many ways the year that was then drawing to a close had been a very difficult one on the latest reckoning agriculture production declined by nearly 15% in 2005-6 industrial production increased by only 3% and total national income in real terms declined by about 4% it is not surprising that in the face of such a sharp reduction in real resources prices increased by as much as 15% in one year and export declines marginally in spite of growing assistance to them we had to tighten import restrictions further even in respect of essential raw materials and components in the meanwhile our repayment obligations were rising steadily so that we had to borrow 187 million dollars from the internationally monetary fund last april in a sense the difficulties that we have been experiencing of late began to gather momentum towards the middle of the 10th plan period the rate of growth of the economy in the 10th plan was a very modest one during 2003 4 and again in 2004 5 there was a spurt in both industrial and agricultural production and national income in real terms increased by nearly 13% in these two years there were also signs towards the middle of the 10th plan period of a distinct improvement in the balance of payments both as a result of the increase in exports and greater utilization of external aid and unprecedented effort was made in the 2003-4 budget to raise additional resources to meet the challenge of defense and development and efforts to mobilize additional resources were continued both during 2004-5 and 2005-6 in any event however these efforts did not prove adequate to meet the additional demands arising from the expenditure on the defense and development prices began to rise towards the middle of 2003 and the trend which started then has continued more or less uninterrupted till now the increase in exports which was witnessed during the first 3 years of the plan could not be sustained 
and both during 2004-5 and 2005-6 our balance of payments remain under heavy pressure government responded to these mounting difficulties both by corrective measures in the short run as well as by long term measures designed to improve the basic health of the economy at a time when production had actually fallen the pressure of demands on the economy could not be reduced to any significant extent by additional mobilization of resources our immediate response to the difficult economic situation therefore was that both agriculture and industry should be as a matter of highest priority accelerated it was only on the basis of an early increase in production that we could seek to solve our manifold problems in a constructive and forward looking manner at the same time every effort was made in the last budget to contain both plan and non plan expenditure so as to reduce the pressure on the economy in the short run we had to take steps to import food grains as well as to import more fertilizers and other raw materials essential for agriculture so as to give a decisive push to agriculture production in the current season as i explained in my budget speech it was the view of the government that despite the difficult foreign exchange situation it would be self defeating to maintain the severity of our import restrictions